Hey guys, welcome back. I am Golden Knight. I'm bringing you the final episode of Life is Strange. This is going to be multiple parts, but we are on episode 5. And I want to make sure I did my intro here because it's going to do a recap. And I definitely want to say, if you haven't watched the other episodes, definitely go back and watch those because I don't want to ruin it for you right here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump on in. <sighs> a lot of bad things happened. Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <sighs> Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? <sighs> yeah. That happened. Story-based game that features- we know this. Yeah, so if you guys didn't hear my theory from the last time, I feel that that guy is actually Nathan's dad. I don't know why, but I feel that. Wolf. Victoria. What? Where? Oh, the dark room. Is anybody out there? Please help. Victoria, wake up, wake up. Get over your hangover. Okay. God. She 
something with that? I don't remember anything that happened. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna get out of here? Hold on. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Okay. Remember how to do this. God, that guy is a creep. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Fucking weirdo. Hold that stare there! Stay! Still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. The Poor hell? Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Okay, well, I'm Good. really confused. That's not oh, as bad. Look at those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Wow. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. God. Maybe. This guy's fucking creeping me out. Will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid. Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Oh, 
it just dosed me again. So I just got to relive that. That's all I got. I kicked the cart, so... Oh, okay. I did ruin some shit. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Aha. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, here we go. This Again. This might work. Please work. I think I got it. Oh, it was much better than the last time, right? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. The banner has. I know. Binder has my name on it. You have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, God. my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit views. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? That makes more How sense. How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim. Not your subject. Oh. 
Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. I'm gonna punch this guy in the face. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. Been around back in my day. Oh! Rewind. Came out. I can see why you're in. Wait! Please. There we go. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Aha! You can do so much better. Thanks, man, you dumbass. Start your shitty ass music. Actually, the music's not that bad, but. There we go, there we go, there we go, go, go! Yes! Yes! Oh! Frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture. Oh, I'm way back at the beginning! I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word I'm back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max. this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who 
Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. <laughs> I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're just about out of time. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Uh, let's see, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. My bad, guys. I accidentally right-clicked and it took me out. I didn't mean to do that. I should be able to track down David's number. I found you. David Matson, five 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 six three zero eighty two forty three. I use my cell phone. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Okay. Mr. Madison, you're right about... Okay, nice. You wanted so me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Well, you kind of have to now. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. We'll talk to Mr. Jefferson really quick, and then we'll have to stop here. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, shut up. I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't. You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks Oops. for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Ho 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 ho! 
Okay, so shit just definitely changed there. We changed a lot. Or we changed nothing. <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Oh ho. Whoa. Oh, okay. Thank God for that. Unfortunately, Rachel's still dead. Hey, I'm flying to San Francisco. Woo! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're s All right, but we do have to stop right there. I'm assuming this is going to be just as long as the other episodes. I don't think it's going to be short, but it looks like Mr. Jefferson got uh, arrested, but we'll see what happens. I'm a little curious, but I do have to stop. Um, I can't have a super, super long episode again unless we're I know we're getting to the end. Uh, I can't have an hour and a half. <laughs> but... Okay, guys, so things are getting intense, more intense, I should say, and hopefully we did change some things, but we did trick Mr. Jefferson to do things that we wanted him to do, so we'll see what happens next. We're still expecting that tornado, right? I That didn't happen yet, so until the next episode, thanks for watching, and huzzah!